you want to win with Fortnite with console quality movement and better jumping, this video is for you. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Smack, and I'm going to show you how to get extra boost in your jumps, just like console and also better movement, not getting stuck on things, and just all around better style. We're going to be showing you how to set up Keys 2x input today in this quick video. With that said, I want to let you know Epic has come out officially and said this is allowed. That's why I have not made a video earlier. I was waiting and now it is 100% legal. Key remapping is good to go. However, macros aren't, but that's different. That is more when you're actually stringing multiple key movements in one shot. And key remapping is not. So this is allowed. I've been using it for a long time with my mouse. I have certain stuff bound to it so I can use a button that on the mouse that also works as opposed to a button on the keyboard which makes building easier because not all your keys are then on the keyboard. So with that let me go ahead and show you how to do this real quick so you can get in and get crushing. I'm excited for this because it's really going to help me from not get stuck on things. I get stuck so many times because the left and right movement is so rough but this will definitely help. For the setup, what we want to do is click the link down below. It will take you to the Mega website. On your PC, you want to click download. Go ahead and find an area to save it and go ahead and hit save. Next, most likely you have it down here. Just right click and choose show in folder. Right click on the zip file and go ahead and choose extract here. Not much more to go. Once we have it extract, next we're going to download the other tool. The other link is down below. Go ahead and choose it. Go ahead and choose the first option. We're going to save it in the same folder. Again, we're going to go back into show and folder and we're going to install this. Just double click on it and go ahead and choose this and accept. This is the emulator that will get keys 2x input to work. Once it's done, choose finish. And now we can just go ahead and open keys 2x input. And we have it open here. It may beep a bit as it sets up on your computer. Just give it a moment. While it's doing that, I'm going to change my values. This is what I've seen online. I know it's Jaren runs similar settings. So once you're done here, go ahead and choose save configuration. And now it is enabled to disable it. Just hit alt zero. It'll uncheck it, Alt-0 again, rechecks it. Now there's one thing we have to do in Fortnite, so we're going to show you this next. Before we do that, what I would do is take this, right click, and choose Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. Now we have it on the desktop and you can run it anytime you want. So there's one more setting we want to change. I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape, go to Settings, click on the keyboard, and then you're going to see Lock Input Method as Mouse. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And choose apply and back. You can leave that on all the time. That setting's not going to cause any problems. This is usual movement. You can see I'm moving like I usually do. I'll go straight, I'll go left, right, left, right. So now we'll turn it on. And now. I can look sideways and build. Turn it off. Yeah, I have to actually turn my mouse. Big difference there. Wow. Yeah, I could just keep going straight. No problems at all. So this is going to help a lot with getting like stuck on buildings, things like that. Your jumping should be more accurate as you get more used to it. I notice it. I'm not going to say I notice it huge, but I do notice it. I get stuck on things a lot, so I think this is really going to help in the long run. Especially when I get more into like build battles and stuff like that. I always get stuck on things, probably because I don't have the, the movement as usual. Let's go left. All right, let's turn it off. Let's go left. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I notice it a lot that way. Alright, so it's on. We're going right. Stop. It's off. Going right. Yeah. I definitely see it. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just uh, taking this program and enabling it and disabling it. I don't think it's going to be a learning curve. I feel like it's easy enough to pick up already. It just feels like the game's a little running a little better, if that makes sense. So that's all you have to do. Now, if you are going to go out and type things and stuff like that, it could mess up some of your keys. So you just want to disable it. Again, Alt-0 is the disable key. Real simple. And then it's off. And then you're going, you know, this way instead of this way. You definitely get more speed running sideways, which is very huge in a game like Fortnite, where speed is everything. I always wondered how people could always get so fast ahead of me and end up being places. I think it's because of reasons like this. So this should get you all set up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Pretty much you just install the two programs, run it, set up the values as you'd like. The values are basically which way you go. So if you want to go uh, diagonal down faster, you could change that. Diagonal up or strafe, you could change any of those values. But this is what most people are running. So for the most part, I'm going to go with that until I get used to it. And then I'll fine tweak it if I need to. You should be all set. I have the new creative update information before it even dropped. So I'm going to put it at the end of this video. You can check that out and see what's coming. I'll give you a hint. It's a big, big update. So check it out and I'll see you over there.